Didn't see you there. I was just reading about the Bermuda Triangle. It's an area in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean between Florida, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. In this area, there's been a lot of disappearances of aircrafts and surface, surface vessels which are alleged to have disappeared in a manner that can't be explained by human error, piracy, equipment error, or natural disasters. But some people don't believe those theories. What do you think? Some conspiracy theorists believe that aliens are responsible for the supernatural happenings that occurred at the Bermuda Triangle. Pretty much, they believe that aliens came and abducted the ships and the crew and all the things that were on the ships into their UFOs, and that's why they're dis disappearing and you can't find them. What? what? <laughs> Another conspiracy theory having to do with the Bermuda Triangle is that there's a, some kind of portal in, in the area known as the Bermuda Triangle where there's a portal between our time dimension and another. And it is said that, well some people say that, the ships and vessels that are, are missing that were in the Bermuda Triangle were in fact sucked into this portal and are trapped in another time dimension other than the one that we are in right now. What, what? What the? It's the neighbor to cop. Another theory for the Bermuda Triangle is that there are gargantuan sea monsters living in the area known as the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, these sea monsters could be things such as kragens, ginormous octopuses, um, overlarged whales, anything of that sort. And, well, the ships that lost were either destroyed, like, bashed in, broken into many pieces, or possibly consumed, as in eaten, by these sea monsters. Oh god! Ah! 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 Many natural disasters can happen out in the open sea in places such as the Bermuda Triangle. Some of these disasters include hurricanes, tsunamis, and let's say thunderstorms. Hurricanes can be the biggest cause of these disasters because they either cause people to abandon the ship, the ship gets destroyed, and then they either drown in the ocean or let's say get eaten by sharks. And then you got tsunamis. Now these things are crazy. They just tower right over your ship and make you drown. They, they just destroy your whole ship. Then you got the thunderstorms, which like, they just take out your crew on top of the ship and it just washes everything away. And then you're just forced into the ocean where you're probably gonna die. No! Hurricane! Back in the ship! Another environmental factor that contributes to the Bermuda Triangle is the Gulf Stream. It is an extremely swift and turbulent current in the ocean that is in some of the deepest parts of the world. This can cause many problems because the parts of the ships that people are trying to find are get, get carried away by the current and are lost forever. Another thing that can happen out, out in the Bermuda Triangle but can be things called human errors. This is when, let's say, your ship or vessel crashes but is in your own control. It's not caused by natural disasters or anything of the sort. Now, human error happens when you got captains or pilots going in the wrong direction or steering into something that they don't know where they're going pretty much. Now you got the captains who may be shipwrecked and then you got the pilots who don't know they have any fuel left and they just run out of fuel and they crash into the ocean. Just reading about the Bermuda Triangle. It's an area. Oh. Some conspiracy theorists believe that. Turn it over. Earthquake! 
Oh, maybe I am. Is he recording? No. <laughs> Go! I can't. I suck at the music. You, you are pretty bad. Ready? Yes. Another okay. environmental factor that contributes into the Bermuda Triangle has got to be the Gulf Stream. It is an extremely swift and turbulent, but. I can't <laughs> do this! Environmental factor that contributes. Damn! <laughs> Human 